That's too round for him. I know. <laughs> I assume you know. I, I don't think well, I'm telling you anything I don't think you know. No, I, that was more of a like, that was like an, a, an affirmative agreement. I know, right? <laughs> totally. I know, right? Also like, how about this, uh, how about this pole that's not connected to anything? No, that's just psychic. It's just psychic. And some psychic right. residue. All right, we up. should we should go. Are we ready? Are we on? Are we on? Should there, I talk? There got all this. Hey, psychobackers, welcome back to uh, Psychonauts Two update number whatever. Mm, we're in. Yeah, I'm Tim. This is Zach. Hello. We are going to talk about. Let's see, last episode we showed the first playable early days. Early we showed, days. Like, a block mesh. What we call white box one. Let's see, if you do this with our heads, like maybe oh, they'll edit it so it's like oh, we're remembering. Oh, that was crazy early version Ooh. of a lot of the quarry area. Um, and you can see all of the player uh, interactables that Raz can climb around on. Is this we'll the Rocket League minutes. section where the jet hits a soccer ball around? Yes, this is gonna be mm -hmm. the, our mini game where you it's actually- not, We're not really doing that. No. It's, actually, it's actually a 20 sided die and it's a, a giant yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird and oh, ugly. Really, okay, but now- It was, I remember what it looked like. It was been working on it for a while. Yeah. What is, and first playable, we'll explain what that is. It's so first. first first playable is, so we did uh, a couple of art tests. Some of the stuff that we had shown in the past for Psychonauts um, were just art tests. They mm -hmm. weren't like real shippable areas for the game that we mm -hmm. intended all the systems to be working in, all the gameplay to be working in. Um, they were tests. Uh, and so this uh, first playable is the first time we've taken a designed chunk of the game and tried to sort of push it through the pipeline uh, and get it fully arted. It's not like shippable, it's nowhere near shippable. It's sort of, I would consider it, it's like a pre-alpha. There's a lot of work to do on it. Pre-alpha. Pre Alpha, so. Not final. Not is final. It final. Not what? Is it final? We're shipping it. We're basically no, we're done, everybody. It. Thanks for sh No, uh, <laughs> it's it's pre-alpha, so there's a bunch of work to even be done before yeah. we decide that it's not good enough to then have to have a bunch more work done on it. But it is sort of represents all of the gameplay systems, all of the art, and uh, a few more new things. Like we finally got some cutscenes up and running and characters mm -hmm. up and running all in one place, and you can play through it. And it's uh, about an hour, hour and a half of content, depending on how careful you are going through everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we're able to actually like play test that. And get some more feedback to help drive how we're going to change how we make levels in the future um, and how we might change our gameplay. So it's been a really good thing. Awesome. Let's check it out. All right, let's check it out. So nothing is final. Nothing is, well, yeah, you can zoom in right in there. Work in progress. Work in progress. May, contain, may bugs contain bugs. And unfinished content. I'm going to wager they facility. are bugs. There might be bugs. See if you can spot them at home. Though. Okay. You, no. Hey, ropes. Look at that. Look yeah. at you platforming. Look at this platforming. Look at all this platforming. We actually, maybe, maybe we could even show off some new moves. Uh, in here. We've got our trampolines, we've got our jumping, we've got our double jumping. We've got that, H poles. Uh, I think kids have been doing, doing, doing acrobatics Whoa. on here before. It's not safe to leave all these rocks around. No, it's not. They're, they're, uh, they're ankle twisters. And we side haven't, challenge markers. Side challenge markers. We haven't decided what our new pickup and set of side challenge markers are, so there are those in the game, and you know, yeah. can level up. Intern, completion. Cards. Cards. I don't, mm. yeah, we gotta figure that one out. Got our old ball friend back. Ball friend. Ball friend. What is that music we're hearing, Tim? <laughs> I had an idea that Second Launch should have music in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Kind of a big idea. Uh, yep. Step one, we should have music. That is Peter McConnell, an outdoorsy piece we made. We, we gave him the uh, code word hopeful exploration. You know? Hopeful exploration. That's a. Yeah, that's write a, that down. Hopeful exploration. And also, kind of like national park, kind of Copeland. You said the word Copeland a lot. Yep. It was meant to be awe inspiring. They put it up on a pedestal, and you're like, you're looking at this like. Ta -ta, ta -ta, yeah, ta -ta, ta -ta. Jurassic Park. <laughs> the literal <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, and, and also. Yeah, but are we supposed to feel like maybe the Psychonauts institution is not benevolent? It's not that it's not benevolent, but it's definitely a theme that how it, how it changed. It's not Ford's vision. Like we talk about how Ford was kind of seeing it as we talk about like a NASA for space for mind the mind. Like it's just right. like peaceful exploration of like what is the human mind, what is at the core of our consciousness, and all that, and what are the potentials for unlocking that? What can human minds do? And then they're like, well, you could defeat our enemies overseas, but this is also a chance to like show how that's not sustainable. It's more sustainable to to be interested in you know human potential. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. This is, I'm, I'm, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, right now it's just on loop through the whole thing, so it, it's a little in your face, but it is meant to sort of, the grandeur 
uh, and awe of this large area. Because this is a really big, explorable space for Psychonauts, kind of way, way bigger than the, the first yeah. game. I see tons of places to climb to that I want to go. Yep. Um, and this is kind of the, where this is in the game, is the first point it's where you... Tree. Oh, yeah, I love the tree. The tree's my favorite part. Um, the first time you've sort of gotten the game opens up, you've gotten through the initial tutorials and your first big mission, and sort of this is the beginning of kind of Act 2, where you've got this big open quarry space to explore outside the base, and it connects to other places in the, the HQ and surrounding environs, which uh, we will not talk about or spoil at this point. And you leveled up while moving around on a crane. That's, he's multitasking. That's part of the advantage of being a psychic. Should we talk about goats? You want to talk about goats? Oh, what's that? It's a goat! I go. I go. Let me see his face. Oh, cute. They've got. He's got creepy goat eyes because goats have devil eyes like that. Okay, so that goat was drawn by Scott. Yep. Modeled by who? Modeled by Zara. Oh, Zara. Yeah, and That's then nice. animated by Ray. Ray actually, because Ray doesn't work on site, he works in Utah, Utah now. Yeah. Hello, goats. Uh, so Ray actually went to a goat farm. There's a goat <laughs> farm nearby his house, because that's what Utah is mostly full of, I guess. Uh, and he went to go look at real goats and yeah. how they actually behave. That's why that behave. goat looks so real. Look how he just did that. All right, wait for it. That's a that's a special detail. Goat butthole. That's exactly the intended use of the first-person camera, right? There, there is a normal map for a goat butt there, too. <laughs> Some good goat tormenting. You can carry the goat with you, get your goat buddy. Oh, uh, we already have to have achievement. Carry a goat through the carry entire game. Carry a goat through the entire game. Can goats swim? No! This is, what are you it's doing? Dark. It's dark. Yeah. Currently, they're just docile. Okay, do we talk about TKing them like Velcro onto the, the wall so you can write dirty words on the wall? <laughs> and take a screenshot. There's simpler ways to do that than, than goats. Takes nine goats Thanks. to say the F word. <laughs> I think you're going to be more than nine. I've done a lot of goat porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> graffiti. Goat get porn that. graffiti. Did you get that? Yeah. That jet looks pretty good. The though. jet looks good. Hey, look, Sasha. So, sorry about what happened on those the are the temporary team. pickups. We all make yeah, Sasha's... Uh, <laughs> That's our new Sasha model, model, and he's got his yep. sweet, yes. crazy headgear on, and you can hear Rusty's voice. That's not Stephen Stanton, the voice of Sasha. That is Dave Russell. Dave Russell, the placeholder voice. Who of, built Sasha, Sasha and does his voice. He basically is Sasha. Hey, Rusty. Um, just this. What's your problem? Okay, this is, this is cool, because this, yeah, this is our first cutscene, I hey, think. Hey, look, Sasha. I'm really sorry about what happened on the casino mission. We all make mistakes, Rasputin. I just hope you learned something from it. Yes, that the odds always favor the house, especially if the roulette wheel is a double zero. No, Rasputin, that the human mind is not a plaything. We're writing a bunch of cutscenes yeah, yeah, yeah. at the beginning of the game. I'm starting to get that's, my writing groove for the game. That's right. It's fun. It's easy to ignore like the milestone of your first of anything in a game. Yeah. Like There's so much work that lays up to your first cutscene getting in the game. So many things have to work before that, that happens. Oops. Oh, sorry, you got hit by a rock. Bit. I thought you were a rabbit squirrel. I hear more temporary oh, dialogue. It is more temporary dialogue. That's, uh, actually, I don't know if we're, we're spoiling it. That's Raz's sister taunting in his older sister, which if you have... Do you have an older sister? Me? Yeah, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that doesn't come from they, nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> did they, did they what is the worst thing your older sister ever did to you? <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Ooh, Ooh, another, can we get an elevator? Another exciting thing should we show off in here? I love the wall jump. The wall jump is great. You can jump. These are weird thermals. Let's get over there. Uh, what else? What is that big thing? Which thing? This thing's a spotlight. Oh, spotlight. It's a big spotlight in front of the base for when they have movie openings. <laughs> that would be scary in real life. This tree. Jumping to the end of the thing like that and then... Oh! Oh. oh. oh I missed it. Because I was thinking of something I was going to say. It's one of the things we've been talking about uh, in general, just our level design, is this the concept of precarity of like one of the things that makes a platformer work is making you feel like you have a very, very long way to fall. Um, that you've climbed a long way and it's really dangerous. And you know the the action of jumping between two platforms that is a foot, are a foot off the ground versus stakes. Yeah, versus hundreds of feet off the ground climbing into this tree way up here, so that you're rewarded with another. You goat. must choose up, goat? goat or a side challenge marker. Let's show off a little combat. Oh, sensors. What should we do to them? Burn them. Okay, let me grab a rock. Dumb. Grab a rock. Oh, okay, grab a rock. Oh, my gosh. I Can you paraglide over the fire because it creates an updraft? Yeah, we're well, just going to add in everything that is in Zelda. We'll whatever, see. or Zelda or whatever the last game is I played. Let me go stand somewhere so we can talk about production updates from somewhere that's pretty. There's a nice pretty spot right there. Okay. I don't know. 
That's a lot of great progress on the first playable. It is a, a solid foundation. It's informed kind of our metrics for a lot of the rest of the production um, and was a super fun thing for the whole team to play. But it's kind of nostalgic playing this because I feel like, you know, I'm playing a Psychonauts game again, which, of course, is the goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to do. It's a very full experience right now. Like, everywhere you go, there's like another path, which is kind of overwhelming, but I think it's good overall. So I'm trying to give it a little more. What the f <laughs> was that? Yeah, actually. So I've, I've usually just like looked at little bugs in like little corners, but this is the most hands on. It's pretty fun, actually. I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. But I think having the Psychonauts music playing in the background helps. <laughs> That is, yeah, it's pretty crazy to be playing a new level because it's just it's so many new people, you know, that um, haven't done most of this before. But and then I remember that none of us had done it before either, you know, for the first game. So, um, so I think I think we'll pull it off. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and from now, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So basically, the team working on the hub is sort of resting on this area for a while, and they're going to be working on all of those areas that look like uh, big, giant bricks, um, because the whole outside hub for Psychonauts 2 is going to be quite large, plus the inside of the base. This is like the footprint of the hub. This is a lot of stuff to do, yeah. <laughs> but that's video games. You just take it one, one level at a time. We're probably going to compress all of this uh, this will probably stay roughly the same, but we might just push some stuff around a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then meanwhile, we've been kicking off brains, which are in uh, heavy, hot and heavy production yeah. right now. It's what do you think of the brains so far? What are you, really are you cool. excited about the brains? Yeah. We're probably not going to show those for a while. Because they're, cool. they're secret and cool. Mm -hmm. We want you to discover them like Christmas morning when you play the game. Mm -hmm. The surprise is part of the super fun part of it. It's the twists and the turns yeah. and the, yeah, so showing some of the uh, outside world, the inside world. Yeah. It'll be secret it's for a little while longer. Yeah. But we've got a bunch of brains in development right now. Every new one we do is better than the last one. Ah, uh, this looks so cool. Uh, yeah, they're sort of like that is fantastic. Uh, but wait, there's more. So um, this is the first test we did of that, which is like a 3D what? Uh, projected onto it. Um, and we'll see where all that goes. It's like Waterloo times 10. This one. <laughs> Later, I'd love to see that. Like, just head over to your desk. Yeah. And you just see that. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Swing back. Swing back. I love that. Yeah. yeah, so really trying to push. Good stuff. Uh, on Good stuff. the having like super unique visual identity and some interesting gameplay shticks and change ups and things like that, which I feel like we're starting to hit our stride on that after just like learning what it is to make a brain in Psychonauts again. So, so that's good. Uh, and so our first playable was the last really big milestone, and the one that we're doing next uh, is more of a playthrough milestone. So we're getting a whole bunch of the game up to what we call representative white box level, uh, which is not as good looking as this, but not as bad looking as the last time we showed this. So you'll be writing all the cutscene scripts for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll get those stubbed in, and we'll have all of the layout and gameplay in, and you'll actually be able to play through kind of the first third of the game, which is great because sort of the goal is to get that whole thing up and running as soon as possible so we can actually do pacing editing and writing editing and sort of figure out what the whole thing feels and plays like uh, and not have that come together in the last months of production, which is something that often can happen in games where you don't actually get to play your whole story or your whole gameplay until yeah. it's almost shipped and then you're like, woo, those things we should have done different. <laughs> so we're going to have that done earlier. Well, that's awesome, Zach. Thank you for showing us all of that. And that's it for this update. Next time, we'll take a deeper look at something cool like characters. Characters, new characters. Awesome, new, new characters for the game. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.